I'm at the creek, this bank washed out, and that right there, my friend, was what I thought was the other half of my hand carved water wheel, but from what I'm telling right now, that's a whole nother water wheel right there. The whole thing, hand carved, look at that. Old thing, look at that. That's a water wheel from this old grist mill. I'll, I'll take more pictures when I get it out. You see it. There's the center post of it right there. I'm digging it out of the bank. That's the size of the water wheel right there. it right there <coughs> digging it out of the bank that's the whole thing well i'm gonna get an upper view here shortly but this is the other side of that water wheel that i found several years ago if you look right here i flipped it over and got this side stained good and you can see it's two pieces and right here you can see there's a peg and there's a peg and this is the section right here that goes in i guess it'd be a wedge that goes like this with holes in it all the way through you can see the rounded the sun's kind of just it's that time of day you see this would have been the bottom just because the way the channels are cut and you can see it's all hand carved so i can block this sun a little bit same thing here. There's a peg. There's a peg. And down in here you can see the piece right there. And there's the where the spindle would have went. As you can see the contour. Can you hear it? That's wood. And from the research I've done, it's supposed to have been a grist mill from the, like the 1840s. So, this is the second one I've got. This one's 44 inches. Let me pause this video just a second. Go back to the video. This is a bird's eye view right here. Sorry about all that. But that one's 44 inches across. The first one I found was 33 inches. And instead of getting both halves when I had a chance, I said, And as you can see, there's the other one. It's the 33 inches. And I didn't get, uh -oh. I did not get the uh, other half out when I had the chance. And you can see. What happens? I only got half of it. But you can see there's one of the pins right there for this sun. Same thing here. But that's 33 inches right there. Hello? And from what I understand, this was a grist mill and a sawmill. You can see it's wood. This would have been the top half where the water would have flowed down. This would have been a horizontal wheel, like a, a, tub, a, a water turbine, basically. The first water turbine. All right, and yeah, might as well include this on this video. This is a buck that I killed this year, 10 point. Get him balanced right here if I can. This is a very rare, what you're fixing to see right here. This one was, uh, this is an upper canine tooth on a deer. 
And the research I've done, these deer were uh, ancient Asian deer that were brought over this way or came across somehow or another. And they had upper canine teeth. And as you can see right there, he got one. I got some others. It looks like it would have been some, like right there. But there's nothing there. I got a couple more that's come from the farm out there that's like that. But you can see, he has got him an upper canine tooth.